yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude, back with another video. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. And so I'm going to be going outside of my normal scope of reviewing, which I normally review men's fragrances. And since Mother's Day is coming up and my daughter wanted to get my wife a fragrance for uh, Mother's Day, and so we went out and bought one, I thought that this would be an appropriate video for all of the uh, boyfriends, husbands, sons out there that if you are looking to get a fragrance for that special lady in your life, that it, whether it's for Mother's Day, a birthday or whatever, um, then hopefully this video helps. And so I'm going to rate the openings and the dry downs of all eight of these fragrances. I've only tried two before. And so we'll go through and then we'll rate them and we'll see how they go. If you wanna know anything about me and my fragrances, uh, I like the sweeter, more gourmand fragrances, although I do like fragrances of all different styles. So when it comes to women's perfume, I usually like the sweeter ones, the more gourmand ones. I kind of stay away from the over florally and perfumey ones. Um, but again, in this video, I'm just gonna go through. Some of them are testers that I got with my cologne. Some of them are my wife's or my daughter's. So here we go. The first one is by Ariana Grande. It is Sweet Like Candy. Ooh. So that's a sweet, just like, like it says, sweet like candy. It's very sweet, it's youthful, it's almost candy-like, just like it says in the name. I'm getting a bit of raspberry or blackberry, I can't really tell off the top. Mixed with like a touch of like uh, vanilla, like a creamy vanilla. It reminds me of like a, like a raspberry cream pie, if that was a thing. I know it's not a strawberry cream pie. If, if you took a strawberry cream pie and took the, ras uh, the strawberries off, put some like raspberries or blackberries on it, that's what it smells like. So with the opening here, that's really nice. It's a bit synthetic. So uh, with that said, I would give it a higher mark, but I'm gonna give it an 8.0 because it is a bit synthetic, but it is really nice. This Ariana Grande, sweet like candy. The second one is also from Ariana Grande and it is Cloud. This is one of the two that I actually know what they smell like, only because I went out yesterday looking for Baccarat Rouge 540, and I heard that this semi smells like it. The opening has a heavy similarity to the Baccarat Rouge 540 as far as that cotton candy vibe, except for the Baccarat Rouge 540 has more of a less synthetic, and this one is more of like that cotton candy flavoring, uh, again, synthetic flavoring. It smells very similar to it, and also the Baccarat Rouge is kind of like a burnt cotton candy, while this, again, is like a cotton candy s sweetener or something like that. It is nice, um, sweet. I don't really sense much else in there. It's, it's really nice. Uh, I'd say about an 8.2 out of 10, so I gave this a little bit higher marks than the sweet like candy. The third one on my list is from Scentbox. They gave me, I do two a month and I got my daughter this. Uh, it's Ariana Grande's Ari. I have yet to smell this, but I smelled it in passing once, I think. Ariana Grande likes her sweet fragrances. This is another sweet and fruity fragrance, a little bit more gourmand than the other two but I like this one a little bit better than the other two. It's a little bit less synthetic. It's like raspberry with like a touch of citrus, almost like a, like a Blue de Chanel grapefruit. Um, not like Blue de Chanel, but like the grapefruit in it. And then I'm getting a little bit of floral. So it's like a raspberry, slightly citrus floral opening. I like this better than the other two, so I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10 on the opening. That is Ariana Grande's Ari, the best of the three so far for me. Number four is my wife's fragrance that she's been wearing since I met her, and that is from Ralph Lauren. It is called Ralph. I don't even need to really spray this, but... So this is a bit more versatile than the other ones. I actually do really like this. This is a modern classic. This is one that came out a long time ago and it's gonna continuously be modern no matter what era we're in. It just, it works. 
It's fresh. It's slightly citrus. It's slightly floral. It's slightly green and it's slightly sweet. Yeah, I'm, the notes kind of blend together very well here. A little bit almost like an apple-y, but it's, it's really nice. It's, I don't know any of the notes for any of these, so yeah, it, this is re really nice. It's, it's very versatile, but again, I like the sweeter, sweeter fragrances, the gourmand ones, and I do like this a lot, but she might not be happy with me, but this is just going to get an 8.0 on the opening. That's Ralph Lauren. Ralph. The next one, Dior, J'adore Dior, J'adore Dior, the Eau de Toilette. I like the bottle though. It's really nice. It looks like a gold bowling pin. This one, my sister and my sister-in-law both like, and they want me to give them this bottle. <sighs> and this is different from all of the other ones. It's not surprising it's a Dior. I like Dior for men. I like Dior on sport. Uh, this is like a light, fresh floral. This is more on the floral side. It started out a lot, a lot of floral, but now it's like, it's a light, fresh floral. It has a bit of pear in it. I can smell the pear in there. It's a really, it's a nice background note. Very not synthetic at all. It's really fresh, really unique. And then there's a couple other fruity notes I can't really pick out here, but it's, it's really nice. Uh, not my favorite in the bunch here, but I can see why people would like it. Um, I'm also getting my nose around to it now and Dior's usually take a minute to get your nose around. But for the Shador Dior and to keep this video going, I'm gonna say it's a 7.8. It's a light, fresh, floral, semi-fruity fragrance. A little bit, bit luxurious. You could tell it's more luxurious than the other ones here. So. I can see uh, it's less youthful than the other ones that I sprayed. So the next one is the second one I have tried. Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. I don't want to waste this because I don't have that much of it, but I already sprayed it here on the tester. This is so nice. So it has a bunch of cherry in the opening. It's like a sour black, like a sour black cherry. And it has a touch of nutty almond. I sprayed a lot on this. And then it has like a backdrop of like a boozy note mixed with a little bit of vanilla, but it's mostly cherry in the opening. It's like a, it literally like a sour cherry. It's really nice. I gotta say out of all of them, this is probably my favorite. I've worn this myself, but for women, I give this a nine out of 10. For men, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. That's Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Really, okay. really, really nice fragrance, but it's way on the higher end. This is, about $350, I believe. Not that size, but anyway, the next one is Valentina Donna, born in Roma. Okay, that's a lot of jasmine. There, it's like a blast of jasmine right in the opening. Some pink pepper and a little bit of fruits that I can't pinpoint here. A little bit of vanilla working with it too. That's nice. I'm going to give it another, probably like an 8.0 in the opening. The Val Valentina Donna Born in Roma, that's it, nothing unique about it, but as far as just a regular fragrance that you would want to smell good, a little bit sweet, a little bit florally with that jasmine, it's nice. And the last one here is Light Blue for Women. Okay, this smells great. Okay, so this is, I don't know if it's because it's just really hot outside right now, but right in the opening, it reminds me of the men's light blue O Intense. It's a smack of citrus, mostly lemon. Um, it has a bit of aromatics in there. That's where it's different from the O Intense and a bit of sweetness, but it's a very, very fresh fragrance. And it seems like it's like the O Intense, that even in the high heat, this is going to be heat activated and smell even better. I'm gonna give that an 8.6 out of 10, because it's not quite in my domain of what I love, which is the sweetness, but still an 8.6 out of 10, light blue for women. That's nice. I would say outside of the heat, 
like more in the uh, winter and fall and early spring, it wouldn't work as well, but just because I'm, it was really hot today, light blue for women smells really good to me right now. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'll give you a quick run through of the dry down. Right now, Tom Ford Lost Cherry is the best. I don't remember which one's the worst. I think it was the J'adore Dior with a 7.8. But I'll be back in just a few minutes with the dry down. I'm gonna give it about a half hour. I wanted to add in an honorable mention because as I said before, my daughter wanted to buy my wife a Mother's Day gift and it turned out to be Angel Nova. I had already made this video, so I wanted to edit it this in. I give it about an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It smells fantastic. This, this all I have smelled so far is the opening. What you get there is a really nice raspberry and rose mixture. It's sweet, fruity, fresh. It's very versatile. And not only that, that rose comes in and gives it a little slight touch of florals, which is really nice the way that it does it. It's a fantastic, especially for the price, but that's Angel Nova by Mugler. It's a really nice choice, especially for Mother's Day. We'll go through these real quick. This is Sweet Like Candy. This has changed quite a bit. What is that? My daughter's in the background saying marshmallows. Yeah, that's like marshmallow fluff. It's like a musky marshmallow fluff. I don't know if I like that as much as I like the raspberry or the berry in the opening, but I'm gonna give that a 7.8 on the dry down. I think it had an 8.0 in the opening. The second one, Ariana Grande Cloud. Okay. So you still get a bit of that cotton candy, but it's more dissipated in the background now. It's slightly musky, still sweet, but dialed back. It's a musky mixed, musk mixed with that amount of that cotton candy opening. Still synthetic, but not as good now. It doesn't smell as good. I would say a 7.8. So the next one is, I don't know what order I went in the first time. So I'm gonna go with Ralph. Uh, it's a bit more citrus, a bit less citrus, and a bit more freshness. It's it's hasn't really changed much. It's just a little bit less citrus, a little bit more freshness. 8.0. I'm gonna stick with the 8.0. I think that's what I gave it the first time. The next one is Ari. She definitely likes her marshmallow. This smells very similar to the other one. It's like a marshmallow or vanilla. Slight, slightly musky, although it doesn't change that much. It still has that sweetness, that gourmandness in it. Yep, so I'm gonna stick, yeah, 8.5. I'm gonna stick with an 8.5 on that. It's a little bit more musky. I might go with an 8.4, just one point down. Next one is J'adore Dior. Uh, it's even more florally now. It's more luxurious, more florally. If you like floral fragrances or women out there like floral fragrances, this is a good one. It's a bit musky too as well. I see uh, that's a trend going with the women's fragrances that the musk comes in in the dry down. I'm gonna drop that to a 7.6. I don't like that as much as I liked it in the opening with that pear. You can't really even see, sense the pear anymore. The next one, Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Ooh, I love this. I like the dry down for Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Okay, so in Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, you get that cherry in the opening, a little bit of tartness. It's like a sour cherry. Uh, you get some vanilla in there. In the dry down, some of this tonka bean comes out. It's a bit more warm. Uh, that vanilla comes up even more. The cherry dials back, but it's still in there and it's really nice and you also get a bit of woods. I'm sticking that at a nine. Staying at a nine, uh, it's still 8.5 for a men. I think it leans feminine for sure. I mean, it's almost, it's a lot closer to, uh, to feminine. Valentina, Donna, Born and Roma dry down. It's a lot more warm, a bit more woody. This one's gonna be one of the ones that goes up. Vanilla's getting higher, jasmine's going down. I'm not a big fan of jasmine. Bit powdery, yeah, it's very nice. I'm gonna go from, I think it was an 8.2, I'm gonna go with an 8.4 out of 10. And the last one here is light blue for women. 
It's not as good as it was in the opening. It's a bit of florals, bit of woods, bit musky. Yeah, it doesn't have that summer day feel in the dry down. It's still fresh, but I'm gonna go with an 8.3. I think that was an 8.6 in the beginning. I'm gonna go with an 8.3 with the light blue women in the dry down. So I'm gonna just recap here. We had the one that I don't like the most is Jador Dior, although it is really nice. Pretty much all of these are pretty nice. Um, my favorite is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Um, that's actually not a shock to me. Uh, this one was really nice, Ariana Grande's Cloud. Although I think of all of them, I think I like the Ari the best out of the Sweet Gourmand ones from the Ariana Grande line. If you're looking for versatility, Ralph's Ralph Club, or <laughs> that's men's. Uh, Ralph by Ralph Lauren is a really, really nice one. Um, it just has this little bit of apple in the opening. It's fresh, it's slightly citrus. It would work all year round. Um, so my three favorites would be just that, I think. Well, it depends on if it's the summer, I'd probably go with light blue. But for the most part, my three favorites are going to be uh, Ralph is going to be number three. Number two is going to be Ariana Grande Ari. Number one is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. So hopefully this helps. Um, if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe. I, I Hopefully this helped and that you can go out and buy that special lady something nice so that she can smell good. But all of these are really, really good fragrances. Uh, none of them got under a seven. So I would go with that. So you guys have a great day and I'll be back with another one.